Hey, hey, welcome back, my friends, to the Forgotten Playthrough. Got lots of big things going on today, my friends. First of all, we're going to be doing a little bit of biome shielding so we can save this left-hand ocean from being overcome by the evil that is the corruption biome. Secondly, I want to go ahead and make myself a large lava bridge spanning the entire underworld, ideally. And of course, third, but by no means least... We're going to be going for the Wall of Flesh and activating hard mode today, my friends. I'm very, very excited for today's episode. So, my friends, if you are as well, then do be sure to head down beneath the video and spend a second to drop a like to support this series. Consider subscribing if you're new around here, of course, so you don't miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off. So, here we are, my friends, at the left-hand side ocean. And it looks like I could be wrong when I say this, but I do not believe the corruption spreads onto sand from dirt in pre-hard mode, but in hard mode, I'm pretty sure it will. So, what that means is we need to go ahead and add in a little bit of a biome shield around here. My friends, let's go ahead and dig ourselves a bit of a thing here. And I just want to make it to the point where the corruption basically just can't spread here. So, yeah, I'm just going to get on with this thing, my friends. Of course there's a blood moon. Well, isn't that a load of poo? I also can't see very well. Uh, right, I guess we have a little bit of an opportunity to try out our weapon set that we got in the last episode, of course. We've got ourselves the Dark Lance and the Sun Fury added to our arsenal right now, which is very, very nice. Very excited to give those a proper go. But yeah, here we are, my friends. We're heading over the left-hand side here. And basically, the fact of the matter is this. We should wind up having all of this ocean be entirely shielded off. I mean, strictly speaking, we could just leave this gap here and that would still do the job because, believe it or not, you cannot have the evil spread more than three air blocks away. So, for example, if this became evil, it would not be able to jump three blocks over here to this left-hand side here. So, yeah, even just leaving a gap would do the job. I should mention that the Dark Lance was actually given a bit of a buff, I think, in the 1.4.4 update. So, yeah, that's why I'm excited to give it a proper go. I'm pretty sure it now does, like, shadow flame damage to folks now. So, it does lasting damage as well as, you know, poking them to death. Is someone going to tell me what the heck this is down here on the bottom left? What is that? I genuinely have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm going to go down to it. I'm going to see what it is. But, yeah... On first glance, I genuinely could not tell you. Uh, oh, Glow Tulip. Summons a caveling gardener. Ancient energy in full bloom. So it's actually a pet. Huh, okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, here we are, my friends. I think I've just about done the job in terms of shielding our left-hand side ocean. So what we need to do now is get on with shielding some other stuff. So I'm thinking our central base area. That might be the next thing that might be overcome with some sort of evil. Yeah, there we are. I mean, it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but it's nicely shielded off from the evil now. So, yeah, mission complete. You know what? One of these days, I think it might be a fun idea to try and do a spears-only playthrough. There's quite a lot of spears in the game. I think there might even be enough to actually, you know, warrant a playthrough. You've got things like the regular spear, you've got the trident at the very start of the game, then you've got things like the dark lance, you've got the north pole, you've got the daybreak, all sorts of weird and wonderful weapons, which I think would make for a fun playthrough. So let me know if that would be the sort of playthrough you guys might want to watch in the future. I mean, there's a lot of playthroughs I want to do first, especially when 1.4.5 does us the honor of coming out. But, uh, yeah, certainly if I'm stuck for serious ideas, then, you know, maybe some weird and wonderful playthroughs rather similar to this one here. Could be a cool idea. All right, this right-hand side ocean, I would say, is pretty safe because, well, A, the evil doesn't normally spread this far out when hard mode starts. It's normally centered around your world spawn, isn't it? So, yeah, we don't need to worry too much about that. The snow biome might get overcome by something, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. Same with this. 
What about the jungle as well? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I do want to go ahead and shield off the center base area here at the very least. And then after that, I think we might get on with the lava bridge. How does that sound? Ooh, an interesting turn of events. I was doing this biome shielding project has actually led to an underground house. Right, what do you got there, buddy? Hermes boots. Wow, not like we've had loads of those already. <laughs> All right, biome shielding for the central base is done and dusted as well. Okay, very, very good. All right, my friends. So on to the next project for today's episode, a large lava bridge. Let's get this thing underway, shall we, my friends? By getting a lava bridge done and dusted, I will feel a little bit more confident with hopefully being able to take down the wall of flesh with slightly less annoying slash forgotten weapons so yeah this should be an interesting one my friends so we're gonna go all the way to the right hand side first and then we're gonna move on to the left hand side here we are my friends bridge is now spanning the entire right hand side here now we need to do the big job we need to go all the way to the left hand side or as far as far as we can achieve with just over a thousand stucco blocks. I know it's a pretty boring thing to do, making a bridge going over the entire underworld, but believe me, when it comes to the wall of flesh, the more prepared you are, the better things are going to be, especially when you're using lesser known, lesser used weapons. Ah, uh, right, my friends, starting to get a little bit low on the stucco blocks, but that's neither here nor there. We've got ourselves a good amount of ash blocks coming into our inventory. Man to get a couple bits and bobs as we've got along here. We've got some ash grass seeds. We've got ourselves a demon scythe here. Gotta be honest, I don't know if we're allowed to use this. I feel like I have used this, so yeah, not entirely sure just yet. But one thing I'm realizing as I go ahead and continue to do this lava bridge project is we don't really have a good ranged weapon, do we? The Dark Lance is melee and very close quarters. Same with the Sun Fury, I would argue. And the high five. The only real ranged weapon we have right now is actually the magic missile. The good news is the magic missile received a pretty heavy buff at some point or another. Whereby you no longer have to rely on your own mouse here to get the projectile to hit an enemy. If you leave the projectile to go wherever the heck it pleases, it will actually home in on enemies rather similar to the Spectre staff in hard mode. Look, check this out, boom. I'm just spamming the click and it went ahead and homed in. See, look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, the magic missile might actually prove its worth in this upcoming Wall of Flesh fight, unless I come across another ranged weapon that I might want to use. Only, unfortunately, the Blood Rain Bow almost certainly will not work down here, so... Yeah, when it actually comes down to it, we've got a pretty limited choice here of ranged weaponry that we can use as part of the Forgotten playthrough. It's going to be an interesting fight, this one, my friends. Truly, it is. And there goes the last of the stucco blocks. Ah, unfortunate. I need to get myself some more silt if I want to continue on with the uh, stucco blocks. But I don't think it's too much trouble using ash blocks instead. So, my friends, we're just going to keep on going until pretty much we run out of ash blocks. We are... What? Wow, I thought we were further across the world than this. I thought we were at least halfway across. But no. <laughs> we're only about a third. Wow! Even on a small world, this project takes a long, long time. Well, my friends, at this point, we're just over the halfway point. There's the central base right up there, and we're down here to the bottom left slightly. Ooh, let's go back to base, shall we? Bit of health. We do a little bit of this as well. Gonna quickly recheck my list, make sure I'm not gonna accidentally sell weapons that I'm allowed to use. Nope, turns out I was right. Both of these are weapons we're not allowed to use, sadly. We've used them plenty of times in the past, both of them. I think what I'd like to do, my friends, is I'd like to give the Wall of Flesh a bit of a go anyway. We have ourselves some very, very large flat platform areas around here, which is going to be, let's be honest, where we make the most amount of progress against the wall of flesh we've got not only this large flat area here there's another large flat area way over here down towards the bottom middle of the world so 
yeah, we should be able to make at least a fairly alright amount of progress, I'd like to say. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a bewitching table. Is there anything else we want to bring down with us? I mean, I don't really know. Do we want to keep on with the bone combo? I mean, that'll probably be a good idea, right? What about the obsidian shield? That would probably be quite useful. Mostly because it's got six defense in itself. But then again, what if we want to go for more damage and also the ability to regen our health just a little bit easier? Hmm? I don't know, man. I have a sneaking suspicion that one of these bone accessories, or both of them, might wind up coming off by the end of today's episode in order to try and actually take down the wall of flesh. But we'll see, my friends. We will see. What we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some buffs and bits and bobs and we're going to get ourselves down there and see what we can do. Do we try to put our strongest foot forwards? We've got Inferno and Life Force potions, both of which I'm pretty sure we've gotten from Shadow Chests. And I imagine they might make the world of difference. Like, really, I really do. So, uh, what about down here? I've just realized I haven't put down my alchemy station just yet. Uh-huh. I might go ahead and put it in place of the fireplace. I'm sorry there, Budskis, but I, I kind of do want this thing. <laughs> in terms of a plan, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Dark Lance to start off with. And then once all of the hungry dudes have gone, I might go for the Magic Missile to try and finish the guy off. These probably won't even come into it, sadly. I mean, we'll put some down at the very, very start to try and maximize our initial damage output. But aside from that, it's going to be a case of, eh, they're not going to be that useful unless I just continuously place them down, you know. So then, the traditional things, regen, swiftness, iron skin. We need a bit of magic power as well. Uh, shine, nah, archery, nah. What else have we got here? Nah. I think we're pretty much good with the buffs we've got going on here. Okay. <laughs> My heart rate has literally just started pumping upwards. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one, my friends. Let's get ourselves down here. And let's try, for the first time in this series, the Wall of Flesh with a forgotten weapon. All right, we're going to be nice and quick about this. We're going to do a little bit of that. So we got ourselves a second froggy. And we're going to buff on up. We're going to do the guide voodoo doll, rather like so. And we're going to see about doing a little bit of a thing here. Okie dokie. Yep, this is where things start getting really interesting. I don't know. Oh, God, I can already tell this is going to be a massive failure. I can already tell. I just, I don't have the weaponry. Oh dear, oh dear. 13,700 health, my friends. <laughs> There's lava everywhere already having to use a health potion. That doesn't bode well. Let's be honest here. Maybe what we should do is actually have the houndiest shootiest on us. Maybe it'll do the job. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of winging it here. I really don't think this is going to go well. I just don't have the weaponry. Just simple as that. I don't have the weaponry. Oh, no. 12,000. Maybe we could do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. I don't know what I should be doing here, man. I'm legitimately at a loss here. 12,000. How do you shoot us? Do something. Do something for me, man. Oh, no. I'm doing no damage. I've got enraged weaponry. What am I to do here, man? In all seriousness, what am I to do here? Oh, man. At a total, 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 total loss here. I don't know what to do. Genuinely don't know what to do. Somehow I've managed to get my health back, but... A short-lived victory, my friends. This isn't going to freaking work, is it? Not only do I not have weaponry, but I don't have, like, a proper ranged weapon. And I certainly don't have a proper mage loadout to go alongside this magic missile. This is just terrible. In just every single way, shape, and form, this is terrible. Uh, we're going to run out of platform. Look, we're already coming across the house here, my friend. Already coming across the house here. Ah, oh, jeez. Look, my, my sun fury has no range. Just no range, man. 
Oh, no. Yeah. I might as well just skip ahead to my inevitable death because there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to do this. No way in hell. More than halfway through, but there's just no way. I can't do this. Not with the weapons I have. Terrifying. Less than a thousand health. I might have to switch to this. <laughs> no way! No way! No way! Oh my god! No way! No bloody way, man! I am in absolute disbelief right now, my friends. Absolute disbelief. There is no way we just did that, man! I was panicking throughout the entire fight! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe we did that! I can't believe we did that! That has to deserve a like beneath this video here now today! That was the first attempt at the Wall of Flesh! And you saw me, I was panicking the entire way! I didn't think I'd be able to do that! Wow! <laughs> wow. Just wow. I can't believe that. I, I honestly, honestly can't believe that. We got ourselves the firecracker. We have ourselves another accessory slot to which we're going to put back on the obsidian shield. We've got the pwn hammer. We've got ourselves a ranger emblem as well. Oh, just I, I can't believe that, man. I can't believe that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the firecracker is not a weapon we're allowed to use because we've used it a good amount in the past. We have, of course, done an expert summoner playthrough where we use this bad boy and we discovered it's pretty badass. Woo -wee! I can't believe that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in hard mode. Ah, oh, I have no words. I truly have no words. There's the corruption over the left-hand side there. There's the hallow over the right-hand side here. And, yeah. Just, you know. <laughs> just amazing. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, my friends. We're not going to top that level of epicness again in today's episode. I think we need to end the episode on a massive high. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and especially the fact that we actually managed to do that despite my panicking and believing I wasn't able to do that, but somehow we did. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like. If there's ever been a video which I think deserves a like, it's gotta be today's one, my friends. Come on. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on my future content, my friends. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Join me in the next episode where we officially begin hard mode in the forgotten playthrough here. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for all of your lovely support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.